The turbofan engines are the most efficient and most preferred aircraft engines for civil aviation. In this video, we will see how the turbofan engine works, what makes it more efficient, and how the critical parameters of the engine are calculated. The turbofan engine consists of a large fan in front of the engine. The engine is divided into two sections. The core section and the bypass section. The jet engine, on the other hand, has only the core section. The fan and the bypass are not present in the jet engine's design. The complete working of the core section and its components are explained in the How Aircraft Engine Works video given in the description. The air entering the engine through the fan splits into two parts. One part of the air passes through the core section, which consists of the compressors, combustion chamber, and the turbines. The other part of air enters the bypass duct surrounding the core section. This is measured by the term called bypass ratio. Bypass ratio is given by the ratio of mass flow rate of air entering the bypass duct to the mass flow rate of air entering the core section. So, if the bypass ratio is 10, then 10 times more air is entering the bypass than the core. We understood from our previous video that the thrust is produced by increasing the momentum of the air. This momentum increase can be attained by keeping the mass flow rate of air small and increasing the velocity of air to higher value, which is the working principle behind the turbojet engines. The same momentum increase can also be attained by increasing the mass flow rate of air and keeping the velocity increase to minimal. This is the working principle of the turbofan engines. This enormous increase in the mass flow rate is attained using the fan in turbofan engines, which sucks in more air and increase the mass flow rate. In a turbojet engine, the enormous increase in the air velocity is attained by adding energy to the air by combustion and then converting it into kinetic energy in the nozzle. Contrary to this, in the turbofan engines, the mass flow rate of air is so huge, a smaller increase in velocity of air is enough to produce the same change in momentum. Thus, 90% of the air sucked in by the fan is diverted into the bypass duct, where no external energy is added to the air. It simply passes through the duct and exit through the nozzle at the end of the duct, attaining the same momentum increase just because of the huge mass flow of air. The typical bypass ratio of high bypass ratio turbofan engines, like the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines or the General Electric's next-gen engines, are in the range from 8 to 12. The 80 to 90 percent of the total thrust is produced by the bypass flow of the air and 10 to 15 percent is produced by the core air flow. Since the majority of the thrust is produced by the bypass air and no energy is added to the bypass flow, the turbofan engines have exceptional fuel efficiency. The propulsive efficiency is a key parameter. It is the ratio of propulsive power of the engine to the work done or energy added to the air by the engine. It is the indication for producing thrust how much energy is added or work is done by the engine. The bypass air produces majority of the thrust in turbofan without energy addition. Thus turbofan has high propulsive efficiency than the turbojet engines. Remember, these comparisons are applicable in the subsonic flow regime only. The core section of the engine cannot be neglected as it produces a part of the total thrust. The work done by the turbines in the core section rotates the compressors and the fan. Thus, the core section drives the engine continuously. The air passing through the fan experiences an increase in pressure, which is given by the fan pressure ratio of the engine. For typical engines, it ranges from 1.3 to 1.9. The most critical component in turbofan engines are the fan blades. The fans used are so large and have a diameter close to 3 meters. Due to the higher RPMs with which the fan rotates and the large radial lengths of the blade, the centrifugal stresses produced in the blades are enormous during operation. During high subsonic speed flight, 
the tip of the fan blades, experience the formation of shock waves, which not only increases the drag, but also reduces the efficiency of the fan. Extensive research is being done on fan blade design and choice of materials to overcome these challenges.